top six best job blasters of uh, or that I own. We got the Starfire XL. This is a gel blaster brand, so you know it's going to be good. Everything's super quality on here, very rigid, well made. Um, this guy isn't doesn't have a full charge on it, but we'll give it a whirl anyways. Um, I just got it out of the box and started firing it, so bear with me. But this is like about, I would say, 25 feet. Once again, we're shooting at that target there. Not very accurate there. Might have a jam. Shooting really hard though. Really smacking that. So I'm gonna get the chronograph real quick and see what this is doing. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I'm gonna be able to read it out. Oops. There we go, FPS. It's not working. Right, let's try this again, god damn it. You guys see that? It's not showing nothing. Same 198. Okay, here we go. That one's going. Two eleven. One ninety two. Two eleven. Two oh eight. Two ten. Oh, this thing's got to be face down. All right, I just figured out why. If you face this thing down, for some reason it'll show the number, but it's about 200 feet per second. 217. Obviously, with the with the 200 frames or feet per second, it can definitely. <laughs> Wasted that mag pretty good. It's kind of loud. It's kind of one of the louder ones. But yeah, Starfire gel blaster, hardly charged. So maybe at at, at fully charged, this thing's probably gonna whip it out pretty good, guys. So uh, I. I I want to say this is probably the strongest one on the market for for now just over the counter um we're gonna get the other ones out and find out all right next up we got the uh, m16 these you can pull off amazon i've got the laser pointer the flashlight you can do a little bit of everything with these but once again we got the orange tip it's a toy guys you guys gotta wear that if not you're an idiot don't be stoops but yeah and then uh this one's this one's obviously Robbie's favorite, but uh, I don't know. He likes the purple one too. I'm gonna do the, the the feet per second here, just so I can show you what this one rocks with. But check it out. 
230, bro. This one's fucking lethal. 23, 230. This one's shooting really, really good. So as you can expect, it's going to probably light that target up pretty good. I'm going to aim for some stuff here, see how well it does with the aim. Little bit going to the right there. This one just tears it apart, guys. This is as far as accuracy goes. It might be as well. And I'm just gonna mess up that thing. So I'm gonna save this one a little bit. I think you guys get the point when this one. This one's definitely a little, little further. A little more of the real deal here with this guy hope you guys are enjoying this but you know it's, it's nice and early in the morning hopefully neighbors don't get too pissed off but these mags you know they're not the best this one might be jammed so you might want to take it out pop it back in might be it i'm clean that was it that was my drum mag This might be the one to get, guys. Honestly. Now, this one's pretty interesting. This is like its own little thing here. It's got three different things that you can do with this. Take off the, the stock here and the front. Make it into a pistol or just take off the stock. Make it into an assault rifle. But this one is really, really well built. Compared to everything else I just showed you, this is the most solid gel blaster, I think, material-wise. Um... This is a cool one. So let's go see how it how it shoots on the uh, chronograph. Now I just wanted to move on to this bad boy here. This is the Hydro Strike. Really nice gun. Honestly, going to be compatible with all gel balls. You don't have to have a specific size for this one. It should work with any. Um, as for the Unlock X and the Splatter Ball, they need their own bigger gel balls that are like from the manufacturer. No joke. You might think that's bullshit, but it's not. But yeah, we're going to give this a whirl in the chronograph right here. Let's show you what it says. 195. One ninety. I could just aim it down the middle. 207. So it's hitting over 200. And then it hits pretty, let's see how the accuracy goes here. Not bad at all. And then we'll do it on the, oops, just hit the camera. We'll do it on the multi-fire. Pretty loud. 